Hey everyone, welcome to our sixth Autumn Force Atom. Now, as usually, I'm gonna show you the weekly challenges, how to do it quickly. I show you the Force Atom cars, as you can see here, and I will do the seasonal uh, championships. I'll just show you what cars I used to win the other cars that you can win, and also the seasonal skills that you need to do. So, first, we need to drive and own a Jaguar. XJ220 from 1993. Then we need to win three dirt trail events in the Jack. That's very easy. That takes like eight seconds. I made a custom uh, route for it. We need to drive 20 miles. That's about 37, 37, 38 kilometers that we need to drive it. That's about three times the highway. And also, 220 miles per hour that's about 355 kilometers an hour okay so let's have a look for the first so we need to own and drive this car it's 350,000 credits and it's this one now first we need to own and drive it so I own and drive it so that's the first weekly challenge now we need to do we need to win three dirt trail events. Now, I tuned this car not for dirt. I tuned it that we can get the fourth weekly challenge. Because it's not necessary to do actually dirt stuff with this car. As you can see, we will do this one now. The trail events. So, you need to look what you will take of the dirt so as you can see this is a trail event don't use a circuit event um, just use this one it's near the gauntlet I will put it in the description you will see you need to do this three times that takes like no time at all so what you need to do is you go enter the event solo custom events and if you're not following me yet you can just search for creator and you put in my name baluster you press enter and then confirm and you will see this one will pop out the easy fortaton with the jaguar on it so let's have a look what we need to do now i always say when we need to do something like this put it on new racer but actually this time it doesn't matter at all and why is that i will show you So normally this is on new racer, it was still for me on experts, but it doesn't matter what you use. Um, I will show you what this is. So all you need to do is, this is dirt. So you just drive like that, driver tires will vanish. There you go. If you do this three times, it takes about nine seconds you have the second weekly challenge done now let's have a look at the third weekly challenge that's also an easy one we just need to drive 20 miles or 38 kilometers in the car so what you need to do is it's pretty simple you go to the highway you start here The car can actually take all the corners and top speeds. So you just drive here one time, you go back second time, and then you go back the third time, and then you have the third weekly challenge. Now, while you're doing that, you see you need to have the 220 miles per hour or the 355 kilometers an hour uh, speed on this. Now, while you're still on the highway, it's very simple. Cars tuned for it. You will get it pretty fast. Cars pretty stable also. Before you enter the next tunnel, you should be able to get the speed already. Or in the second tunnel. There you go. So this is the fourth weekly challenge. So this challenge takes about even less than five minutes as you can see the car is very fast so that's it for the weekly challenges 
while I was doing that, I already gave me the daily challenges also. Well, not this one because it does the uh, seasonal. Now, what are we getting in the Forzaton shop? The Volkswagen Type 2 Deluxe Forza Edition. Everybody has that. This one, we already own that. But if people missed it, you can get it again. It's a rare car now, but it's the second time it comes in the Forzaton shop. We get a green man outfit and a chicken suit. The super wheel spin and the normal wheel spin. So that's it for the weekly challenges. Now, let's have a look. Let's take off dirt racing. Now, let's have a look at this one. Um, this is Clady Classic Muddy Special. As you can see, you can get the C-Class. Now, I advise you, if you do like the co-ops, get a nice team and you will get it very fast. So, what you need to do here is... Here at the Community Championship, we will win the Quartz. And the Quartz has also the Quartz D that's in the perk points. And you need 113 perk points for that. Now, what car did I use? I used the Stratos AF Stradale. You can easily win with this car. And what are you winning from this championship? I'll back out. So, what are we winning? We're winning the Quartz. Now, here, this is the Quartz. I don't know if I pronounce it good, but okay. So, this is the card that we win from the Seasonal Championship from the Community. Now, in this car, there is another car in the perk points. As you go to Car Mastery, you need 113 points to get the Quartz Regalia D-Type. Okay, so I'm back. So, what I was saying, you need 113 perk points to get this Regalia D-Type. My game crash crashes about every 5 minutes, so this video has been taking long to record. Uh, it's always on Friday that there are big problems with the game. They really need to fix that, because it's very annoying if you want to record a video or just play with your friends and you keep crashing every 5 minutes. Now, you also get 30,000 credits. Now, I'll show you the car that we're gonna get from the Quartz itself. That's this one. So, this car is in the Quartz itself from the Community Championship. Not sure what we're gonna do with it. We need to check out and tune it. Okay, let's hop on to the next seasonal. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Here at the Mud Kickers, we can win the Bone Shaker. Now everybody got the Bone Shaker. You need to find a team. I advise you to go in a convoy and do it with at least three or four friends to actually get the car. Now. We can win the Bone Shaker in this. Bone Shaker is OP in A class for online. Now, the car that I used for this, I didn't have so many cars. I didn't have a tuned car. So, the car I used was actually the Corvette Z06. I shared the tune for it. Don't go in because stock this is rear wheel drive and i can tell you on the mud kickers on rear wheel drive untuned that's not easy to do so the car that we're gonna win is this one the wanted bone shaker and my game crashed again again and again and again and again it's keep crashing on friday so this is the bone shaker that everybody can win now everybody's gonna use it in online racing there you go at mud kickers you win the bone shaker okay game don't make me crash again i crashed about five times already now the next car that we can win here this is the lancia delta also a rare car it's 20 million on the auction Now here also you need to find a team for this 
And the car that you can actually win is the Lancia. That's this one. So at the Hollywood Park Trail, you can win the Lancia Delta. Now, what else do we have here at Princess Street Garden? Here you can actually only win a super wheel spin and you need this car. I'll show you. So this is the car that we need to use for this for a super wheel spin. Now I tuned the car. Um, I'll be honest. It has a lot of acceleration. It's very fast, but it doesn't have grip. So once in a while, I think it's best if you just use the wall 2k take your corner even if you make mistakes the car has a good acceleration towards the other cars the travatars so here we can win a super wheel spin now let's go to edinburgh west now what you can win here is the fair lady 1994 fair lady z twin turbo now the car I used is this one, it's the Honda Civic from 2004. I'll show you quickly, it's this one. Now what can you win here? You can win the twin turbo Nissan. So this is the car that we can win here, a nice twin turbo. I tune it for drifting, but I will definitely look out what it else can do in the race maybe okay let's see now I got all seasonal events and the cars that we need to use for this let's go to the speed trap now what do you need 400 I don't know how much you need anymore but this was pretty easy so I started here Normally you put all the junk away from, uh, from what you can see here, but I'll just show you. I used my muzzler. It's extra, extra tuned for speed. So if you like, you can use the muzzler with my tune. And this is very easy. You can do it in one run. So you just start here and then normally you just take out this, all this stuff here. And then just go for it. As you can see, it pulls up very fast. This is the first, first seasonal skill. Now, the next one here. This one was a little bit more tricky. You need 244 meters. Now, what do we use here? Well, since we won the bone shaker, I used my bone shaker but I didn't use it in A or S1 I did it in S2 class so let's have a look the hot wheels then we go to the bone shaker um, where is it here so what you need to do is you just need to fly as far as you can so just break this one back up just put everything away it's always nice to have traffic cars here now it's standing away so i just started here just put it in third or even a fourth thing was then you just drive Well, not like that. And this is how I got my seasonal jump. Okay, so that was the weekly challenges, also the seasonals. I know I forgot uh, one car. 
I need to check which one because my game crashed during this recording video about eight times now. So I need to do a lot of cutting and editing in my video. So I will add the car that I didn't say in the description. So there you go. This is the Forsaton weekly challenges and the seasonal championships with the cars that you can win and the cars that I used to win the cars. I hope you enjoy your weekend and I will see you around. Bye bye.